this is a small individual of um, the species lemon, which is commonly called lemonade berry or Rus integrifolia. Integrifolia means that the edges of the leaves are generally whole or not too broken up, although it has little spines on the edges. Anyway, this plant here can grow into one of these larger mounds of greenery in a decade or so. This species, not this individual, but a plant like this, about this size, was used by Rob Rue when he was a graduate student here at Scripps in Ray Weiss's lab to look at the release of nitrous oxide from um, shrub systems such as this. So this was about five years ago and if we look back along the trail here we're going to see the original plant which no longer fits in a box that's a meter by a meter by a meter anymore it's that big shrub down there that we we actually passed that one that's um, in front of the signs anyway it shows you how they can just keep growing they're green because they have a different um, mechanism for resisting drought, their leaves are called sclerophyllous. sclerophyllous. Um, and that means that they're covered in a waxy coating. They're sort of leathery. They don't release very much moisture. The undersides also have a slightly different structure to minimize release of water from the top surfaces. And so the pores are only on the bottom surfaces, which are then lighter green. This plant here is Encelia californica, or coast sunflower. This plant has another method of avoiding drought. It just is withdrawing most of its nutrients and water back into the stems and even underground. So these few green leaves here are far fewer than when the plant was at the height of its growth and it was completely covered in green. And then these are the flowering stalks, which have now dried up, but which bore bright yellow sunflowers earlier in the season. In its summer form, it's withdrawn most of its nutrients into its stems and into the below ground portion. Here you can see some dried up flower heads where these seeds are Probably not viable, but there were lots of viable seeds. I have collected them and we'll be using them to grow plants for the upcoming fall season when it's most appropriate to plant because then the winter rains will sustain them. This is a Mediterranean ecosystem, so we have winter rains during the cool portion of the year and no rain during the summertime. That means that the summertime is actually the dormant part of the year, equivalent to winter in more northern portions of the world.